who it is. Look who's looking crusty. It's me. I, oh my God. Obviously I went to the gym, so I'm sweaty. Then I went into the store because I needed to get something. And then I got more stuff than I needed to get. <laughs> oh look, so last time I was in there. Um, so if you were into bakeware at all, then you should probably know about Nordicware. And I've wanted something from them for a long time. And they, had, they got some stuff in. Do I make a lot of bunts? No, that's not the point, look at this. Look at this bunt pan. Oh my lanta! Look, this is how it looks. I'm about to make a bunt. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. I almost got a little bunt lit pan, but I was like, because I, I put it on Andrew's credit card. <laughs> I'll let him buy me a bunt lit pan next week. <laughs> and then I had to get a little ore for my hair because I gotta wash my hair today. My, what I went in here for was the, to get this supplement for Nigel's food, this probiotics. And you know, I got that. And then I got some birdie worsh because you know, we can't be funky. But yeah, I was really excited about, oh. Now I gotta look up a bump recipe. I mean, this is beautiful. I gotta look up a recipe, but wow. I had a good workout, got sweaty. But now I need to go home because I'm very hungry. So, plans today. Why do people have to come home for me? Anyway, I gotta wash my hair, that's a big thing. And captions and thumbnails for my video. Okay, bye. Nigel, we're supposed to be walking. Did you find the shade? You found the shade, Boo Boo? Is it hot? Is it hot? Is it hot? <laughs> what is this? Full body layout under the shade. I can't be mad at you, player. Ooh. Good morning. Good morning, handsome. Did you have a good sleep? Did you have a good sleep, my boo bears? Mm, have a good sleep. We should just stay in bed, huh? We don't need to get up. Look, look how sleepy. Let's go back to sleep, boo boos. What day is it? We don't know. It's Tuesday. Okay, okay, I'll come back. <laughs> it's Tuesday. I need to get up for the gym. Ugh. I just woke up. And I was going on Twitter so I could cackle about Met Gala dresses and laugh at people's reactions. And yet, I see this about Roe v. Wade. <sighs> this is just one of the many reasons that everything sucks. America is the absolute ghetto and I do not want to go back to that hellscape. <laughs> Nigel, we need somebody to take us in in Europe. Hello, I think this might be like, is this my first check-in of the vlog? Say hi, Nigel. Right here. We just got back from an evening walk. Um, we've been doing two. Uh, I've been adding in a second walk during the evening. Here he goes. About to be a menace. So today is Tuesday. It's like seven something. And I I feel like I haven't done much today, but I did go to the gym and I have a little bit left of Gallant by V.E. Schwab to finish. And um, I'm going to be having a bestie night with my friend where we watch something and we FaceTime and basically just talk. Um, so, and I edited another video. Um, and made the thumbnail so i did do stuff but i didn't get rid of anything yesterday or today and i still have all of this stuff the problem is a lot of it i need to take to like the the donation place and i haven't done that and then i have a bunch of cardboard i need to take out so i think i'm about to do that right now take the cardboard and whatever trash i have out i didn't take it yesterday because um i think it was an italian holiday the weekend was and so the trash hadn't been the the, the dumpsters were full so I have to get rid of like 30 something stuff to things today. And like, I just don't feel like doing it. But then if I wait till tomorrow, then I'm gonna have like 
50 things I gotta get rid of because today is 19 and yesterday was 18. So I have a bunch of old underwear and socks that I didn't count before and I'm just gonna count those and then see what else I need to get rid of. I thought this wasn't gonna get hard. And now that I've gone through so many things and ended up like going over a couple days, see, I should have been all like, oh, I have extra, dummy. But I still have, like we have an outdoor storage. Um, but I'm gonna wait for Angie to get back because I'm convinced there's a mouse out there and I just, the thing that has stuff of mine in it, it's in the back. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. So I still have that. I still have the storage closet under our stairs and I still do have my book room, including all of those books in there that I'm gonna unhaul. And I wanna go through my shelf again and get remove like more books. So I still have stuff. I just don't feel like putting in the effort to get rid of things. So I'm gonna count all this stuff down here and see what that comes up to and then pull stuff from wherever else to get up to my number. I think it's 37. I think it's 37. So yeah, I didn't really read anything yesterday. I read like 5% of Gallant and then I read the majority of it today. And I have a little bit, I, have, I think I have an hour in the audiobook left. So I'm gonna plan on finishing that tonight. I did get in Delilah Green something something. I wanted to say Delilah Green must die. That is not it. Whatever that audio, that uh sapphic romances that my patrons recommended last week it wasn't available but it just came in so i'm gonna read that i also have dating dr dill um and i have the heart principle and then seasonal fears came out today but it's not available at my library yet and i want to read it so probably more romance this week are we surprised um, and I need to work on nonfiction for my book club. So I'm reading The Gates of Europe first. I have that audiobook, and I think that's it. I think that's all I got going on right now. Um, so I'm gonna go collect things, take out some trash, and I have to make my dinner. And then I will be watching something with my, my friend, and that'll be the night. So nothing too wild over here. Just a baby who's attacking the rope. Is that good? He destroys everything. Um, okay, that's it, bye. I'm like, I can't see because of the sun. Hello, it is Wednesday. I really haven't been updating y'all much in this vlog. Um, I don't think you can see me well, which is pretty good because I always look like shit. I am in the car to go to the gym and I just downloaded the audiobook um, because I got it from Libro FM of the Heart Principle. So, I am have been warned about the content that is in it and so I'm going to listen to that to go ahead and finish up that trilogy I think it's a trilogy um by Helen Huang and hopefully despite you know the content warnings and I also really enjoy it I feel like I finished Gallant by V. Schwab last night vibes I guess it was just too simplistic. Like I wanted more. I think if it had been an adult story and developed more, it could have been nice and like spooky. Uh, I would like more, I, I guess maybe this is like a middle grade gothic horror kind of, but not, not really. There just wasn't a lot, like a, you don't really get the plot until like, 60 70 percent into the book or like the the purpose you don't like an antagonist like anything there's really just like plodding along kind of but it doesn't like you just don't get a lot like you know the main character all olive olivia and everybody else like a little bit but it there just wasn't a lot i don't know like i like the writing but the story there wasn't enough meat there wasn't enough meat I gave it three stars. It's really like a 2.5, rounded up to a three. I don't know. I'm I'm sad because I know there's illustrations because I could see them on my Kindle, but not super well. And so I wanted a physical copy, but I'm glad I didn't buy one because I don't I didn't love it. So anywho, I'm gonna go to the gym, get this sweat on, and then I have to go to the store. I'm so annoyed when I have to buy expensive things at the same time. Like it's like when when you run out of like all of like toilet paper, paper towels, all at the same time. You're like, God damn, there's a hundred dollars. Today, I need to buy pre-workout, which is like 30 something dollars. And then I need to buy Nigel's uh, like flea and tick drops. 
Them things is like, I don't know, $40, $50? Oh my God. I was like, how are we out of them already? But then I remember it's May. So <laughs> that's why. So I've got to get those. So that's probably a cool 90. Oh, everything costs too much. Okay, I'm going to go to the gym and I'm gonna listen to the Heart Principle on the way. I usually don't listen to audiobooks at the gym. I usually listen to music or a podcast, but we'll see. Toodles. <laughs> you done? Hello, okay, so I'm still in my gym clothes. It's like 12 and I'm 50% through the Heart Principle, which I will tell you about in a moment. So I had my breakfast while well, I went into the store after the gym um, and I forgot to get his flea drops. So I have to get him tomorrow. I didn't, I forgot my pre-workout <clears throat> pre also. So like what I was going for, but I needed a couple of things. So I got some food from the store. Um, I had breakfast, cleaned up my dishes. So and here's kind of chaos. Energy comes back on Friday. Today is Wednesday. So I need to tidy up so I don't have to do it all on Thursday or Friday morning. Um, the stuff that I've been getting rid of is sitting on the table and some of it I need to throw away and some of it is donation and someone's going to take some pictures, pop it up on Facebook, see if it's sold, if not donate it. So I need to do that though. I have like cardboard boxes on the floor and I have, I need to put at least my big donation bag is pretty full. So I'm, if I don't sell this stuff, I'm going to have to start another bag and I have the shoes. So I want to put, I got to find a bag for the shoes and I want to put the big bag and my shoes in the trunk of the car so that when I'm over there, I can take it. So they're already in there out of the way. Um, and then last night I didn't even finish. I got to like 30 things and I needed seven more things and I just like didn't, <laughs> so bad. So I need to get seven more things for yesterday, which a lot of the stuff that I have for yesterday is stuff to throw out and then I need seven more things. And then today is 20 things. I think I'm gonna go through my candles upstairs. Ow, it's freaking pimple. I think I'm gonna go through my candles upstairs um and hopefully so i need to do 27 things today oh my god we're getting down to the wire this is these next days are about to be about to be a little harder but um so anyway i'm gonna do all that so that's it but anyway heart principle so i'm 50 percent and it's really good so far <laughs> are we surprised so the main characters in this are kwan who is the brother to kai who was the hero in the bride test and his cousin is michael who was the hero in the kiss quotient so Ka no kwan um so there's a content warning for cancer and um he had cancer and is uh in remission or hasn't had it in a while and then our main character or our hero our, our heroine anna is um a really good violinist i believe that's what she plays and she went viral but she um has been struggling with her music and has been going to therapy and is discovering she may be on the autism spectrum so she was in a long-term relationship and the guy was like we need to talk about our future i want to be together but i want to make sure so we should take a break and see other people to make sure we're okay for each other and kwan has been insecure after having cancer and so he wants to kind of get back in the dating game and she is like her friends are like well you should you know go out there too since he's going to go date other women and they meet on a dating app so one of the things um, that I have loved so far in this book is that he is very much like, tell me what you want. Like, what's going to make you feel good? What's going to get you to that O? And she is not used to that. Um, she's like, no, it's fine. Like, we can just, after they were, you know, doing, uh, dang it, I forgot what you call it, doing some foreplay. And she's like, it's fine. Here comes the part of sex that, you know, is never great for me, but at least I got a little bit, I got more out of it with him than I usually do. And she's like, it's fine. And he's like, I don't want it to be fine. I want it to be amazing for you. And I'm like, that's right. That's motherfucking right. But she's struggling with like telling him exactly like how she wants to be touched and what she likes um, because she's never had somebody ask her that. And I just, I just hate, I hate what I don't know if I'm gonna say it right heteronormativity has done to us all because it's trash and so many women um don't know that 
or don't know how to what like advocate for themselves or like don't feel comfortable telling men how to you know help them also orgasm um and you know there's media i love that in this one because often in romance books and often in movies um tv shows it is often portrayed as everyone every woman can have an orgasm just by pen penetration which is like false that does not work for a lot you know it takes it's taking some more work motion of the ocean stimulate other things and i love that in this one because in most romance books or a lot of them it, that usually is portrayed that way and it's like mm -hmm, that's not true and so i just love this conversation because the whole fact of you know like men just you know whatever they get their rocks off so quick and don't care about women not all men okay and uh yeah not <clears throat> so i'm just like yes and obviously i hope over the course of the rest of this book that she and i assume will learn to be able to tell him exactly what she wants and where she likes to be touched and such and such but i'm like that's right i like this in a romance we need to talk about that more okay so it's already 12 whatever i've been talking for 10 minutes so i'm gonna go do my stuff and check in bye be my degree I was wondering where this was I would like to get it framed because you know I did ooh, I did earn it but this is so damn big okay throwing away briefly uh is mostly just this junk oh my god this is so embarrassing but it's a lot of like half used candles i have like under here the stuff that i found in here i think i'm just throwing a bunch of stuff away makes so. hello so it is 3 55 and i finished uh the heart principle i give it four stars so i knew going into it that it had a lot more heavier topics and that's it could have been a five star but that took up so much of the book that i didn't feel like i got enough time with kwan and anna um but i really did enjoy it especially earlier when i was talking about those convers conversations around sex and like making sure that she was also enjoying it also got her orgasm and i was like yes yes love that um but the because right at 50 percent, i was like oh well this isn't too bad like yeah there's things going on and they have their issues and then it took a turn and i was like oh okay and then it was like anna's sister is the worst she's like 15 years older than her but she's very bossy and like anna is trying to learn if she has is on the autism spectrum and she isn't going to therapy and she tells her sister this and she's like you're not you're not autistic you don't need to go to therapy why are you wasting your money and she's just like the worst 
and she has to be around her family for what they're going through and just her needs aren't prioritized and what she wants and she's just like working herself into the ground and it's just so frustrating like i was so mad for her just how she was being treated especially by her sister and then um obviously she was on that break from her boyfriend and they're looking at kwan like it's just a, a fling and kwan has all these tattoos so they're like mm, um who is this guy and i was just like oh for so long and so, you know, obviously they get together in the end. Um, but I just wish that we had more, less of like her, the caregiving and all of that. She had to go through more of her and Quan. Um, I did read the author's note in the back and Helen Huang said this is like 50% memoir because of the shared experiences between her and Anna. And so like, I understand that for like a romance, I just would have preferred more time with them. Um, like when they did get steamy, you know, even before they had sex was, I really liked those scenes. And once they did, and I was like, oh, I'm so happy for y'all. And he was like, overcoming his insecurities and she was working through hers and they're working together to pleasure each other. And I'm like, that's what I'm talking about. But I just wanted more time with them. So had I had that, it could have been a five because Quan was so sweet. Like I was thinking about earlier, I said like, I don't like when a guy, like a guy is just like mean. Like he can be mean to other people. But if he's mean to her, I don't want it. Like I need it, you know, he can stand up for her and did it up, but he needs to be a sweet man to her. And then I'm like, yes. So anyway, really enjoyed that. And uh, excited to see what Helen Huang writes next. But um, yeah, so I have a couple of different romance options and I'm gonna try them out and see what I'm feeling to read right now. And then I will update you later, but I got I threw all that stuff out in the trash and to the recycling and so now it's a little less cluttered i still have the clothes that i want to take a picture of to put up but i didn't do that i had lunch was with nothing exciting and i was thinking about washing clothes and i was like i'll do it tomorrow so that's it i'm like filming having all these videos ready ahead of time is so weird because i don't need to film is this my feeling <laughs> what so yeah, I just want to read and then maybe I'll watch TV later. Nothing wild. Andrew's still not, he doesn't get back till Friday. So just me and Nigel, he's napping in his crate right now. So I don't have much to say. <laughs> I'm sorry aggressive okay so i chose my next book and it was recommended by heather when we did a, a live or we did a, a recording from world hoppers about romance and it's called cups of you by carmen lee and so i'm only 13 percent in but our main character is amber and she is from the small town in georgia but she moved away to chicago but she's back because her aunt who is her only relative uh hurt herself so she's there to help her and the hero is this guy named benjamin and he runs the coffee shop in town and uh so <laughs> i was gonna wait to update y'all but i just had to because her so her aunt um is a regular there i mean it's a small town and she was at the house and she was like can you go into town and you know get me a coffee from i think it's called sweet beans is the coffee shop and she's like yeah and she's like um, and I, I could feel where this was going because Amber had been cleaning and she's like, oh yeah, maybe I should take a shower because I smell like bleach. She's like, yeah, maybe, maybe, uh, freshen up your hair a little bit. And she's like, why? She's like, oh, you know how people in town like to top talk and make sure you give Benny my love. That's what she calls him. She doesn't call him Benjamin. And in my head, I'm just like, I know what she's doing, auntie. I know what you setting up. with a freaking rock.
Now most would think I was just sitting here enjoying the breeze. But I know that this crazy little buddy head is waiting for me to come get that piece of rock. Look at him. Watch. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. You happy? Fashion icon. Who puts on my pants? You done? You wanna watch the sun set, baby? Nigel, why are you giving them that look? Don't look at them like that. Tell him night night. Tell him night night. <laughs> this is so hard. I have my phone. Okay, look. Me and Bebe are in bed. He's had a long day. I forgot to tell y'all, I finished that book. I mean, I don't have room for children. My baby is, he needs his space. Right, Buki? <laughs> He's such a human dog. That's what I call him. I finished that book. Oh, 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 okay. You can go on your own pillow. Um, what was it called? I want to call it Sugar and Spice or something. It was like Cups of You, Coffee of You or something. It was very cute. Um. I gave it, I mean, on Goodreads a four star, but I said it was more like a three and a half. It was too short. It was like 200. Well, on Goodreads, it said it was like 207 pages. And I feel like it could have used 50 to 75 more pages at least. My problem was it wasn't like it was over a short amount of time. It was that there were time jumps. And I'm like, that makes sense sometimes, but not usually too much in romance. And like, there can be time that passes, but you know, they would be, there would be a scene and then the next chapter and then I'd be like expecting it to kind of pick up from right after that and it would be some, and then I'd be like, I don't, I'm assuming it's the next day or something. And then it'd be like a couple weeks. It's been a couple months. And I'm like, good grief. But it, they would, it would mention also stuff they did together and saying so like, well, I understand not showing like every part of their life but like if they're going on dates or having interactions I want to see that because that's like what I'm reading the romance for their interactions I mean we did get some of them and I enjoyed those I just wanted more so it just felt too short um this does have like uh she did lose her parents so there's content warning for that it's not like on page but it's just mentioned in the story he is the hero is Benjamin he's divorced he has a teenage daughter named Olivia and then she Amber lived in this is from this little town but she left when she went to college and hasn't been back she's been living in Chicago she came back in town and helped her aunt because her aunt had an injury um and that's like her only that's her only relative there in the town he runs this coffee shop in town and she goes in there yes you would what is something on your tooth? Let me see. I'm gonna brush your teeth today. Okay, all right, all right. Do you have something to add? Hmm. All right. So he owns a coffee shop. She came in there and she's got a little, little attitude, but he's just so nice. And she has a shitty boyfriend back in Chicago who cheated on her, but they're trying to make it work. But she came down to Georgia by herself to take care of her auntie. And so, can I help you, sir? <laughs> Obviously, it's a romance. They end up together. My, I just, I needed it to be longer. 
Um, but I really enjoyed it, like all of their interactions. He was so sweet. He was like a super tall cinnamon roll, huge, always smiling. And they, she has, he has these freckles and he just was a really kind man and great with his daughter. And he had this couple who were his friends, like stayed his friends after the divorce and they were really funny. Um, and then I loved her, excuse me, relationship with her aunt. And so, yeah, I just needed to be longer because I really was enjoying it. And I was like, oh, no, we're getting towards the end. What is going to happen? Um, and they, you know, they have their little moment of this isn't going to work between us or whatever. I wouldn't call it a full like third act breakup, but basically it's a third act breakup. And then they came back together and I'm like, but I just needed to stretch out a little longer. They're going to go to bed. It's like probably one o'clock we were watching i was watching tiktoks i told myself i was gonna watch tv tonight and then i didn't mm. Mm. anywho nighty night see you tomorrow Ooh. good morning i was about to say it's friday but it's thursday and it's 9 22 and i'm sitting in the car i need to go into the gym but i don't want to Normally I eat a little something. I usually just eat Cheerios um, before the gym. But then this morning I was upstairs and I brushed my teeth before I had my Cheerios. So I was like, well, I'm not going to eat them now because they're going to taste disgusting. So now I'm hungry. <laughs> but I'm already here and I need to go inside, but I don't want to. Yeah, not a good idea. I did some shoulder exercises and then I was on the treadmill for 20 minutes, but like I'm fucking struggling. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> so I used to be able to work out fasted without eating anything. I can't do that anymore. So, oh God, I almost fell over. Time to go home. So back from the walk, um, for today's things, I need to get rid of 21 things and I decided to clean out my candy drawer, which is right here. Yes, I have a candy drawer. I haven't been adding to it much. Here comes Nigel, nobody told him. But I would order big packs of like sour strips and other, I don't put chocolate in here though because I feel like they absorb the flavors of other things. I don't know. So it's like, so Nigel, please. It's like, uh, I like I have mints you know, like sugary candies, gum. So a friend of mine that is in South Korea sent me a box of snacks and I've been recently trying the yogurt Skittles. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. My battery's about to die, but anyway, I'm throwing away all this stuff, 21 things. Bye. It is, well, technically it's Friday because it's like, I don't know, 12, 15 a.m. And I just finished the Dating Dr. Dill, which, yeah, I think I mentioned it earlier. Um, I would have finished it sooner, but I took that break to record um, with Bethany and Izzy. So this was a rom-com and it was Indian American. Both characters come from Indian families. So Karina is the heroine and she's a lawyer but she works for like a non-profit and um she lives at home with her father sister and grandmother and she's 30. her younger sister is engaged to be married so of course that is like oh my gosh because basically she's ancient at 30 she's ancient how dare she not be married and they live in this beautiful house that her parents built unfortunately her mother did pass away 
um, but she's very attached to this house because her mother specifically like designed it and they did renovation projects together so she's very attached to this house and um her she finds out in the beginning of the book that her father's planning to retire to florida they live in new jersey and he's going to sell the house in new jersey in order to buy a retirement like a buy a home in florida but she wants the house and he's like you couldn't afford to buy this house um because he needs that money for his retirement home so the the parents had put aside money for each daughter for their wedding and she's like well i'm at this point right i'm not getting married so just give me my money and he's like no it's once you get married and so she's like oh so i gotta find a man so i can get this money to buy this house to put a down payment on this house for my dad before my dad sells it then the hero is prem i don't know if i'm saying it right excuse me and he's a cardiologist um he is trying to get investors and save up money so he can open like a health a community health center especially for south asian people and he's currently on a tv show it made me think of like the doctors but it's called like dr dill where he gives like heart advice but the whole thing is he doesn't believe in like true he doesn't believe in love like he thinks like people's relationships work out because of like compromise you know communication not love like it's a weird every time he would explain what he believed in that wasn't love i'm like but those are all things you do when you love someone like you work on communication you do compromise on some things you like work together i don't know anyway so essentially they both need to basically like a fake dating situation here's my thing though it's not really fake dating because for the majority of it they're not dating it's like that's set up as like how it's going to be but like she refuses because she's like you know i believe in true love i want to love matt she has very valid reasons of course that she wants this but like the majority of the book they're not dating because of this like she is trying to find she's trying to date other people like on find people through dating apps and stuff but she's not dating him so i don't know if you would really call it a, a fake dating and so the first like 50 percent, i was loving it i was laughing the aunties are so amazing i love them so much also the parents i mean wow hilarious um it also made me hungry anytime they were talking about food i was like damn i want a samosa <laughs> and so i was really enjoying the first half um but then i started to get i started to get frustrated especially with karina i'm like girl you have this short timeline you're trying to get this money and homie is offering you this perfect setup so you can get this money and you're like, no, I'm going to find my true love. And I just kept getting mad at her because I'm like, girl, you don't have that much time. You keep playing around. And she was so stubborn. And also, I don't know, maybe it's the author, but it's so such a weird thing. Karina always is wearing a sweater vest. Why? I don't know. Like, there's nothing wrong with sweater vests. But, like, it was just and it was always something mentioned and i was like that's weird also another weird thing they did have some steamy time and they were very nice except anytime there was any like you know kissing or any kind of arousal that he felt you would hear him in his thoughts instead of being like my dick got hard my penis got hard i have an erection there's a tint in my the pitch to tint in my pants any of those no instead of that you would hear charlie got hard who is charlie his penis he named his penis charlie he named his penis one he named his penis like and he named it charlie so anytime he was referring to that instead of saying all the things i just said he would say charlie brushing up against the zipper of my jeans charlie is so hard i'm like why <laughs> why that just 
I'd be just like, yeah, ooh, it's steamy. And then Charlie, and it's like, I don't know. You just killed the vibe. So, like, it was... Goodreads says it's like 382 pages. Once I got past, like, 60%, I was like, damn, is this going to be over anytime soon? And I felt like there was, like, more than just the one traditional third act breakup. There was, like, a this and then a this. It was, like, a he did something, then she did something, and he did I was like, oh, my gosh, can we just get to it and be together? Damn. So, it definitely started out way stronger. I was having more fun. I mean, the aunties were a hoot the entire time. And I liked Karina and him together. Um... I mean, I, it, it was it's just, it wasn't my favorite. Like, listen to the audio on script, so if you would like to do that. But yeah, I think the last romance that I'm going to read, <laughs> who knows who's going to be last, but I'm going to read uh, Delilah Green Doesn't Care. I'm going to start that tomorrow. I have headphones on, so I hope you can hear me. I don't know why I'm still sitting here. I took my adult on a brief walk because it's very windy. Um, and I need to give him a bath. And I think that's why I'm sitting here because I don't want to give him a bath because it's always chaos. So he's here enjoying his rope. And I've just been sitting here scrolling Twitter. I need to get up and go give him a bath so that I can give myself a bath because there's no point in doing that before because I'm going to get soaking wet. And then I can clean that bathroom because I always clean it after I give him a bath. And I'm trying to think if I need to do anything else today. I think that's it really that I need to do because I cleaned yesterday and I just need to get rid of my stuff for today. I did on the way to the gym. I was like, oh, I'll start a podcast. And then I was like, let me see. And I just went on back on Scribd and I saw they had Meet Cute Club audio and it was really short. So I just put it on. So I'm like 40-ish percent through that. It's very cute. Meet Cute Club is very cute so far. Um, Jordan has a book club. He's black and I think the other guy's white. Uh, he meets him at the bookstore and they read a lot of romance, like historical romances in the book club. And the guy teases him, but he ends up buying the book because he thinks Jordan's cute and goes to join the book club. So it's very cute so far. Um, <sighs> so I'm going to, <laughs> I forgot to buy more shampoo, but I think he has a little bit left. We might be have to tap that bottle. All right, I'm not gonna put her off any longer. I'm going to go bathe Nigel. Wish me luck. Look at him, he honestly has the audacity to be tired. Well, whose fault is that, sir? If you would just sit there and let me wash you, you wouldn't be so tired. He does this every time. I'm tired too. But you know what I gotta do? Dry him, moisturize him. Change his bedding. Come up here, clean this bathroom, and then I get to wash myself. But then I don't get a nap. See, this is child enough for me. I'm not having children. This is my child. He takes a lot of time and energy. My bag is screaming right now. Look at him. So tired. For what? Go ahead. Close your eyes. I thought you were laying down with me. Lay down. No, what's wrong? Your eye and cheek. You need a scratch? You need a scratch? I don't know why I do this when I need to get ready. I'm just like, uh, I'm just going to lay down. I need to get up <laughs> and put on some clothes because I need to go drive to get Andrew from the airport. And I was like, oh, maybe I should take baby. And if I take him, I don't even know if his car seat is strapped in. Wow. I just finished meet cute clothes. I got to go. Hello. It is Saturday morning and I don't know what I even update y'all yesterday. Here's baby. He's been being bad. So he's in. It's great to have his personal time. So exciting. I just got a piece of mail. It's from Orbit. I never get anything from Orbit. I There are select books that I will email a publisher requesting an arc of that I like really think I'm going to love or anticipate a sequel or something like that. And I have sent several 
to orbit over the last like two years and I have never gotten one until today. Until today. Look at this orbit book. I was like, oh my God. Can you guess what it is? <gasps> the Stardust thing. Oh my God, wait, Chelsea Abdullah. So this, this, this does come out this month. I need to check. I'll look up the exact date. So they probably sent this two weeks ago, um, but my mail is slow. Let's see when it was posted. What well, was posted April 28th. Um, <clears throat> so this is, I know, Arab inspired fantasy. It's based on stories from 1001 Nights, I believe. Yes. And Chelsea Abdullah is, let's see. Chelsea Abdullah is from the Middle East. I think this says she is from Kuwait. She left Kuwait to go to university in the United States. So I am so excited about this. Always excited about new adult fantasy that is not Western based and obviously not by white authors. Um, not like I don't like those, but just always excited for something different. And I just love this cover. Like if you can, I just love it. And of course it's Orbit. And so I thought it was, it's like, um, I feel like this is the general size that the, the, the one for sale will be, but like the words aren't super small and it's only like four, it's like right under 500 pages. And so I think I'm not like sick of romance, but I think I've just had a lot of romance in the last few weeks that I feel like I'm back in a good reading groove. And I was like, I want to get back and try something at SFF. And so this might be it. So I'm very excited. Thank you so much to Orbit for this. So Saturday, I didn't do my decluttering yesterday. I'm currently doing it today. If you see all this stuff, I've been going through like under our TV and since Andrew is back and we are getting rid of cords and stuff like, ooh, look at that. Wow, <laughs> my eye crest. Technically, is it mine? Whatever, I'm getting rid of stuff so it counts. So yesterday was 22, today is 23, and I up to like 25 things over there. Um, also, we had a pool, an above ground pool that I'm gonna put up also, and the, all the accessories that go with that. So I am almost, I still need maybe like 15 things, and I'll be up to my 45 that I need for today. So <clears throat> I don't know the last thing I talked to y'all about, What's the last thing I read? So yesterday I read Meet Cute Club. Oh, I think I was filming like an update and then I had to go to the airport to get Andrew. So Meet Cute Club was pretty short. It's by Jack Harbin and it was a male male romance and it was very cute. I wanted it, I wanted a little more though. Like I think if it was a little longer, we would have gotten more with the characters, like gotten to know more about them. And I could feel more invested because with how it was, I didn't feel fully invested in the relationship because I didn't really know them or feel that close to them, but it was still really precious because Jordan is, he has this uh, book club, Meet Cute Club, and they read romance. And then Rex is working at this bookstore now that Jordan frequents. They're in this small town and you know, uh, Jordan, they start, well, Rex kind of starts flirting with him and teasing him, about, teasing him about reading romance, but then he's interested. So he buys the book and shows up at uh, Jordan's book club. Um, and Jordan's parents aren't alive, but his grandmother is, and she's super cute, the interactions that he has with her. And Rex is back in town to clean out his grandmother's home because she passed away. And he has some family issues with like his dad cheated on his mom and then went and had another kid who is his younger sibling that he does get along with. And then now he's being a fuck boy again, his dad. So it just felt like there was a lot with like that family issue and uh, the whole, I don't know, I guess the plot of the book was kind of like trying to save Jordan's book club because he had been losing members. And it just moved really fast where I like enjoyed it, but I never felt like super invested in the story. So I will give it like a 3.5. I rounded up on a Garish to a four. It was very cute. I would read something else by Jack Carbon. Um, I just wanted a little more from that story. I think, Throwing all this out, lots of cords and things, stuff for recycle, the speaker. Neither are you going to the trash too? All right. He volunteered his tribute. Throwing out them Birkenstocks. Absolutely not. Hating ass. Should throw away your ugly slides. Look at them things. What are those? <laughs> Do the kids still say that? Look at this sweatshirt though. Iconic. <laughs> all right, Nene, lead the way.
because the sauna is right there. Also, I'm gonna practice my Instagram, Instagram, Instagram pose to make my butt look bigger. This is normal me. Is that how they? Is that how they do it? Maybe, maybe this one. You're like, find my booty program. If the gym was always there. Dang it, I gotta film this last minute because I wanted to put this in here, but I got new shorts in from Patagonia that I wanted to show you because why not? Um, yeah, the top is gonna stay the same, but I'll just show you the shorts. My table has stuff on it, mind your business. I know you're gonna be like, Jessica, there's nothing special about these shorts. Oh wait, you can't even see, hold on, let's see. But what's special about them is that they're comfortable and they have pockets. And I just love Patagonia, so I love this little label. And elastic waistband, because with my ever-changing weight, this is what I need this summer, and they're nylon. So that means my sweaty butt, they won't be so bad in these pants, in these shorts. Okay. So those are navy blue, and I got this like coral pair. I don't know what you would call this color. This inseam is like a couple inches shorter. I think this is three inches, the other one's five, again. Same. These are the baggy, like they're literally called baggy shorts from Patagonia. Um, so yeah, I like this color. What's up? Last and not least, my favorite ones, hella 90s vibe. I call these my fresh prints. Mm, mm, mm. Let me do a TikTok dance. Mm, don't stop. Mm. Hey, let me stop. But yeah. I just love it. It speaks, I'm like, it speaks to me. <laughs> anyway, these are my shorts, cool. I'm here to close out this vlog. I thought I had filmed this earlier and I didn't. And honestly, I'm sick of vlogging. Not necessarily sick of vlogging, I'm sick of editing it because I just don't know when to shut the fuck up. Like I have such long winded clips, I'm like, bitch, we can't keep having 10 minute clips. And so a lot of my stuff, it might not seem like a good cutting point, but I was like, I've got to cut this off somewhere because I just won't shut the fuck up. And I'm truly sick of myself. I don't know. I'm, I'm in a mood right now because I was just editing this vlog and I'm just annoyed at myself. Like, <laughs> truly. And then Nigel was getting all fussy because it was near his dinner time. And I was like, just give me 10 minutes. And he wouldn't, and so I'm just aggravated. But anyway, I'm not gonna go over everything I read because I already ran my mouth about them, but I did start the Stardust Thief. I got like 130 pages into it and I'm enjoying it so far. But I just realized earlier I wasn't gonna finish it today. Um, so five books, seven days is still really good. Um, you know, some romance books better than others. And I'll have all the books that I've read listed down below. I haven't gotten rid of my stuff so far today, but and I was waiting to film that, but I, I've gotten, excuse me, I'm on track. So I did, cause I did my stuff yesterday and I'm caught up for the week. So I just have to do today, which I think is 23 things. Um, So just show that in the next vlog. I'm still getting rid of stuff. I just don't wanna like keep showing you all of my junk. So I just show some here and there. And hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know how your week went. If you got rid of anything, if you've been reading anything good. This week we're going to Ireland. So this vlog will probably be up on Tuesday the 10th, I think that is. We leave on the 12th. And so the next week there won't be a vlog up because I'll still be there. We get back the next Thursday. Um, and so it'll probably be, then it'll be a vlog the next week that'll be caught up. So I'll be pausing whatever day I'm on for the declutter thing and then finish when I get back. So the next vlog, I don't know if I'll break it into, it depends on how much, like how much things I, how many clips I shoot in Ireland. Cause I'll have some Ireland parts in there. 
but I'm really excited to go. I'm gonna get to see my brother and sister-in-law who I haven't seen since we left in 2019. And I haven't been to Ireland since 2016, so I'm just really excited to go get off this island. I have some videos filmed, so I need to film a couple more and edit them and have all that stuff prepped. So uh, God, I don't have to worry about it. And that's it. Okay, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Again, check the description. I have the books linked, all different information. If you want to join my Patreon, if you want to find me on social media. And just thank you all for your support. Stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized, and sunscreen. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.